This is my mama's makeup and crochet channel. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since my last video. I'm sorry about that. Well, I got busy, but anyway, this video is a crochet tutorial for a beach cover-up or a summer dress. I'm calling this the Kendall Beach Cover-Up Dress, named after my daughter, Jordana Kendall. This is very similar to my previous dress design called Cameron Dress. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'm going to put the link of the video tutorial in the description box. Like I said, the candle dress is similar to the Cameron dress. This is also very easy to make and you can actually customize the design. So same thing, this tutorial is more with the assembly process or the concept of two granny squares joined together to form a dress. So basically, you can make any size or dress length you want, whether maxi, midi, or mini, with any kind of crochet square using any yarn you feel suitable to use for this project. But I do recommend super fine to fine weight yarns to achieve that light and flowy summer dress look. For example, with this one, I chose the modern granny square design from the crochet crowd. I will put the video tutorial link in the description box if you're interested in this modern granny square pattern. And for this tutorial, later, I will be doing a regular or basic granny square pattern instead. Okay? And also with this strap, you may make one in any design you want, or you may also skip putting a strap if you prefer this one shoulder venus cut well whatever your preferred style is anyway for this demonstration i don't have two small granny squares that could fit in the camera view so i will use these hankies instead okay so we have here let's say two granny squares and to form our candle dress we will connect them like so Okay, so let's put these two squares together, okay, the right sides out, and so uh, this is the right side, and this is the right side, okay, so let's put them in this position, okay, so this is the top part, so these two corners right here will be joined together, okay, and that goes on the shoulder, okay. So this is the front side of the dress. This right here is the chest part and that's the back. Okay, so before we can mark where we will start joining the squares, we have to know how big we want this open part right here. Okay, so uh, here's Emma, my daughter's doll, to help us with the demonstration. So we have to measure this part around here and that will be the measurement for this opening. So it's 34 centimeters around, half of that would be 17 centimeters, so let's measure 17 centimeters, and that's where we will put our marker, okay, so that's a total of 34 centimeters around, okay, and this part going down here we will sew or crochet together so for this demo let's use some safety pins okay it's up to you how you want to connect the two granny squares together okay there are several different ways to do that but later i will have the tutorial on how i did mine okay which is the join as you go method of connecting granny squares now on to the other side Again, this top part right here goes on the shoulder, okay? And we will leave enough opening here for the armhole. So same thing, just get the measurement 
for the armhole depending on how big you want it to be for example here we want just uh, 20 centimeters for the armhole okay we don't want it too tight okay half of that is 10 centimeters okay so let's measure 10 centimeters here okay let's put our marker and that's 20 centimeters around so again we will be crocheting or sewing these parts together from this marker going down to this corner okay And here is our dress. Okay, we have this one shoulder Venus cut. If you want, you can leave it like this. Okay, but as for me, I want to add a strap, okay, to this other side. Okay, I didn't measure exactly this part right here where the strap would go. Okay, I just put on the dress and marked where I want to put the strap on. So let's do that here also, okay? So here is our dress. Let's put this on Emma, okay? And let's see. So here is Emma in our dress. Okay, so she's now wearing this uh, Venus cut dress made with these two granny squares. Okay, but like I said, for me, I want to add a strap here. I think I want the strap to start here. Okay, so the length of the strap, of course, I did measure like this. Okay, so when I put on the dress, I checked how long the strap should be. Okay, but it's up to you how you want to make the strap. Whatever design or pattern or how you're going to attach it. Well, very basic. You can just uh, do it your way. Okay, so let's put on the strap. Well, as you can see, it's as simple as joining these two squares together, like so. Okay, crocheting these sides of the squares together and these sides as well. Leaving enough opening here and here based on your measurements. So again, here is our dress using two granny squares connected on this part right here, here, and here. And Emma is now wearing the new candle dress. With this first dress I made for this part, I left here 36 centimeters, so that's 72 centimeters for the opening. Okay, so uh, right here. And for the armhole here, 24 centimeters so 48 centimeters around okay and my strap here is approximately 34 centimeters okay again everything should be based on your own measurements i'm just showing you mine and also the strap any design you like of course but i'll also show you later the pattern i'm using okay by the way for this dress I used fingering weight 8 ply fine cotton yarn from Ashley's Crochet called Apple Orchard. Okay, so two mini cakes 
one for each granny square and each cake is approximately 140 grams I used three uh, millimeters crochet hook size for this the length of the dress will depend on the size of the squares of course the bigger your granny squares are the longer your dress will be okay so this one each side of the granny square is only 70 centimeters long and it's only like a top or a mini dress for me i'm only 5'1 by the way 5 feet 1 inch in height and my dress size is medium so if you're making this dress for someone taller or bigger than i am or you just simply want the dress much longer you may want to make your squares bigger again you can make any crochet square you want but i will be making the regular or the classic granny square for this tutorial okay so let's start this is for ply cotton acrylic yarn from Ashley's Crochet and this is sport weight. Okay, this colorway is called maple. I have two cakes here, so one for each granny square. Each cake is approximately 220 grams. Okay, I will be using a tulip etimo 4 millimeters crochet hook. Again, you don't have to use the same type of yarn or hook size for this project, okay? But I suggest a not too bulky or stiff yarn so it would have a nice flowy effect. So we will begin with a magic ring, okay? So uh, we will leave a tail long enough for weaving in later. Okay, and here is our magic ring. Okay, so we will insert the hook into the ring and we will chain three. Okay, so one, two, and three. And that will count as a double crochet. Okay, and we make two more double crochets into the ring. Okay, so there so including that three chains that we did in the beginning okay one two three so we have three double crochets into the ring and then we chain two and we will make three double crochets into the ring okay so one two and three okay and then we chain two again and we will make another set of three double crochets into the ring okay two and three okay and we chain two and then one more time three double crochets into the ring two and three and then we chain two so we will pull this to close the ring and to end the row right after we chain two we will slip stitch on top of that three chains that we did in the beginning okay so one two three so into that third chain right there we will slip stitch Okay, sorry. There. Yeah. And that is the end of the row. And that is row one. Okay, to begin row two, and take note that we will do this in the beginning of every row. Okay, so to start the row, we will slip stitch into each of these stitches until we reach that corner right there the two chain space so we are doing this because we always want to start our row right there okay in the corner okay that's why we did those slip stitches to reach that corner so again we will make 
three chains okay so into that chain two space and this will count as a double crochet and then we make two more double crochets into that same two chain space okay the corner right there and then we chain two and then we will make three more double crochets into that corner okay into that two chain space so one two and three so that is the first corner for our second row okay and then we chain one and now we will do the same into this uh, two chain space okay so that's three double crochets one two three and then we chain two one two and then three more double crochets into that same two chain space okay that corner right there and then we chain one again and then same thing so three double crochets into that two chain space and then we chain two and three more double crochets into that same two chain space so that's how we are going to do each corner of the granny square every time and that is corner number three okay and then we chain one and again we will work another corner right here into that two chain space okay so that would be three double crochets okay and then chain two and three double crochets okay so again that's how we will always work the corners of our granny square and then we chain one and once again to end the row we will slip stitch into that third chain okay of that three chains that we did in the beginning of the row okay so slip stitch into that third chain right there sorry okay oops And that is the end of row two. Okay, to begin the next row, like what I have said earlier, we will slip stitch into every stitch until we reach that corner right there, that two chain space. So we will do that in the beginning of each row, okay? Because we want to begin our row in that corner. Okay, so we will chain three and then make two double crochets into that two chain space so including that three chains we did in the beginning that counts as a double crochet so we have three double crochets and then we chain two and then three more double crochets into that same two chain space okay so that's our corner number one for our third row and we chain one okay and we will make three double crochets into that chain one space from the previous row okay so three double crochets so one two and three okay and then we chain one okay and then we will work another corner okay so that would be three double crochets okay and then we chain two and then another set of three double crochets into that same two chain space corner okay that's our corner number two and then we chain one okay and now we make three double crochets into that chain one space 
from the previous row okay so one two and three okay and then we chain one and we will work another corner so same thing three double crochets into that two chain space chain two and three more double crochets into that corner two chain space okay so three double crochets right there so that's corner number three and then we chain one and we make three double crochets into that chain one space right there okay so there three double crochets and then we chain again and then we will work our last corner right here okay so three double crochets chain two and three more double crochets okay and now so that's our fourth corner and then we chain one and then three double crochets into that chain one space okay and then we chain one and then to end the row slip stitch on top of that chain three okay and that is the end of row three okay and one more time we will uh, do one more row for this demo okay so this is the fourth round so again to begin we will slip stitch into every stitch until we reach that two chain space in that corner so we can begin our next row okay so this is row four so we chain three and that counts as a double crochet and then we make a double crochet and another double crochet okay so now we have three double crochets including that chain three and then we chain two and then three double crochets into that same two chain space okay and that is our corner number one and we chain one okay and again this is going to be the same thing that we will always do every row okay so after that chain one we will make three double crochets into that chain one space Okay, so three double crochets then we chain and then three double crochets into that chain one space from the previous row okay so three double crochets so chain one and then the corner okay so three double crochets three and then chain two and then three double crochets right there okay and then we chain one and then three double crochets into that chain one space then we chain one and then three double crochets into that chain one space okay and then chain one and we will work the corner again okay so uh, this is the repeat for every row okay so we're gonna keep doing this pattern until we reach our desired size for our granny square so again that's our third corner 
chain one and then we will keep working the same pattern so three double crochets into that chain one space chain one and then three double crochets into that chain one space chain one and again the corner so one two three chain two and again three double crochets one two and three this is the last side of the square okay so we chain one again straight to that chain one space we work three double crochets okay so three chain one and then into that chain one space we work three double crochets okay and to end the row we chain and slip stitch on top of that three chains that we did in the beginning of the row okay and that is the end of row four okay and again before we begin the next row so this is what we always do okay so we will slip stitch into every stitch until we reach that corner right there so basically this is the pattern that we will repeat until we reach the size that we want for our granny square okay so i will do just that okay i will make two granny squares and i will meet you later just a heads up since i've mentioned earlier that i'll be doing the join as you crochet method to connect the two granny squares i will make the first granny square with the complete number of rows and the second one with one less row for example if the first one has 40 rows the second one which is still unfinished should only have 39 rows because the last row row 40 will be completed while joining the two squares together and i will be showing you that process later also okay and again you can make any granny or any kind of crochet square for this project and also join the squares in any method you want okay i'm just showing you one of the versions that you can also make okay so i will see you in a bit all right i am back and now i have two granny squares here and this first one has 38 rows and this second one which is still unfinished only has 37 rows because remember i have mentioned earlier that the last row for the second granny square i will be working on while joining the two squares together using the join as you crochet method of connecting granny squares so again this has 38 rows and the second one only has 37 rows still okay but before we start connecting these two granny squares together we have to know which parts we are going to be joining together remember our demonstration with the doll earlier so that's what we did here also of course okay so this corner right here when connected to a corner of the other granny square goes on the shoulder to make that one shoulder or asymmetrical look okay and this length of the neckline right here is based on my measurement and here's the marker for that and this part right here is the armhole so i already have the measurement and we put the marker here okay and this length right here will be left open or not connected to the other granny square okay just like this side too 
So this is the neckline and we will be leaving that open as well, of course. Okay, not connected to the other granny square. So this side right here, right there, and this side will be the open parts and this side right here will be connected to the other granny square. And so is this one. Okay, so this side will be connected to the other granny square that we have. Okay, and that's what we are going to do next. So let's get started on that. Okay, so we are now ready to join these two granny squares together. So this first granny square is the complete one and where we have the markers. So this marker right here is for the armhole. And this one is for the chest or the neckline. And we are going to be working on this side first, where the armhole is going to be. So this full length from this marker up to this corner will be connected to the second granny square. So what we have here is this first granny square with 38 rows and this second one with only 37 rows because remember I will be crocheting the last row of this second granny square while connecting it to the other granny square. Here is the end of row 37 and I already did slip stitches up to the corner of the square so we can get started on the next row. We chain three and this counts as a double crochet and we make two more double crochets into that corner two chain space and this is a part of this side of the square okay we chain one and now we will be working on this side while connecting it to the other granny square so after those three double crochets i did one chain and then i will insert my hook into this uh, chain space of the other granny square okay so uh, insert hook grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook okay or you know slip stitch and then we will go back to working on our uh, chain space here in the corner so uh, three double crochets into that corner chain space two and three okay and now instead of chaining one okay we will slip stitch into that chain space of the uh, other granny square okay so i will i will insert hook into that chain space grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook okay and now we are once again connected to that other granny square and three double crochets into that chain one space okay so one two and three okay so once again we will slip stitch into that chain one space of the other granny to join them together so insert hook into the chain space grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook and once again they're joined on that part so again we will make three double crochets into that chain one space of the previous row okay so one and two and three okay and again instead of chaining one we will slip stitch into that chain one space of the other granny square okay so this is how we do the join as you crochet or join as you go method of connecting or joining two granny squares so uh, we are doing the last row on this granny square while we are connecting it to the completed one okay so that's it all right let's continue 
and we will do a few more stitches three double crochets into that chain one space okay and again slip stitch into that chain space of the other granny square okay so insert hook grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook so once again they're connected that way okay anyway we will continue crocheting those stitches all the way here okay and i'll meet you when we get there so i am back and now we have these two granny squares joined together starting from this part right here so we have the corner of this granny square and this one is the corner of that first granny square and now they are connected to each other going from there up to this point right here where we have the marker okay and we will be having our armhole there okay so i've done that part sorry it unraveled anyway i will just uh, redo it okay let's fix that okay so we will continue that one and so we have three double crochets into that chain one space and now this is the last part right here we have that marker so we will slip stitch into that chain space of the other granny square and that is our last stitch for our join as you crochet part on uh, this side okay because from this point here going to that uh, corner right there okay we will just be continuing the last row for this granny square without joining it to the other granny square so let's continue okay so we will make three double crochets into that chain one space from the previous row okay so one two three okay and now i'm not going to join it anymore to that other granny square okay so we chain one and then three double crochets into that chain one space from the previous row okay and then we chain one so basically it's just our regular pattern for the granny square okay so we're just going to continue so we can finish our last row for this granny square okay so three double crochets okay so again it's just our usual stitches for the granny square okay so let's continue that all the way to the corner okay and i'll meet you when we get there and now we are almost at the corner so after that chain one we will make three double crochets into that corner two chain space okay so three double crochets but instead of doing what we usually do at the corner we will be connecting this to that corner of the other granny square but we will do it differently this time okay because remember this part right here goes on the shoulder so we need a sturdier connection on this part okay and we will be making more stitches to join these parts together but before that i will be making one row of single crochets around the armhole as a border or edging so it's just one single crochet into each stitch all the way around okay so if you don't want to do that if you want to leave it like this without the single crochet row that's fine also you can skip this part okay but i'm just going to show you my process here real quick 
So this is what we are going to do. We will slip stitch into this corner to chain space of the other granny square, okay? Right there. So they are now connected like that. And again, this is the second granny square that's still incomplete. Okay, we're still working on that. And this is the corner right here. But we did not do the full corner yet. Okay, we only did three double crochets. But don't worry, we will be going back to that part and we will complete that corner later. For now, we are going to be doing that one row of single crochets around the armhole. Okay, so we will chain one and then we will make one single crochet into each of these three double crochets. So one, two, three, okay. So basically, it's just one single crochet into each stitch around. Okay, so I think we can now take this marker off and we will continue so we have already formed our armhole right okay so right there so what we are just doing is making that single crochet border around the armhole okay so let's continue doing that So we will make one single crochet into that chain one space. One single crochet into each of these three double crochets. Okay, so again, one single crochet into that chain one space and one single crochet into each of these double crochets. Okay, and one single crochet into that chain one space so that's what we are going to do all the way around so it's just one single crochet into each stitch around this armhole okay so we will do that all the way around until we reach this part and i'll meet you there and now we're almost done with our single crochet border around the armhole and we will be working on this side next. Okay, so let's finish this border. Okay, so we're now at this last few stitches. These are the three double crochets that we did earlier as part of that corner right there. Okay, so to finish, we will make one single crochet into each of these three double crochets okay right there and next we will slip stitch into that uh, first single crochet that we did earlier okay so right there and that's the border done and now we will be working on this side okay so again this is the armhole right so this is obviously the part that goes on the shoulder okay so we will be joining these two granny squares again on this part okay and this goes on the shoulder so we are not going to be doing our usual method of joining the two granny squares okay because we need a stronger connection on this part okay just for this part because remember this part right here goes on the shoulder okay so it's the one that's holding the dress up right there okay so that's why we need a sturdier or stronger connection on this part okay so again we are gonna be doing the join here differently Okay, so let's continue. Again, we have this incomplete corner right there. Okay, so we are just gonna be finishing that part, okay, on this side. Okay, so uh, wait, okay, I will just move 
the yarn here because we are going to be working on this side now okay i hope i can show this to you clearly okay so again let's continue so we will now slip stitch into that chain two space of that other granny square okay again that's the corner two chain space of the first granny square so we slip stitch into that okay so slip stitch and then we will continue working on this corner of the second granny square okay so we will make our second set of three double crochets into that two chain space so again that's the first set that we did earlier and now we will make three more double crochets into that two chain space but to do that first we will slip stitch on top of that double crochet so again this is the corner of the other granny square okay so we will be connecting the three double crochets that we're making to these three double crochets on this other granny square so slip stitch into that first double crochet of the three double crochets on the other granny square okay so please watch closely because i'm not confident i'm explaining it well so anyway we did a slip stitch into that first double crochet from that corner of the other granny square okay and now we will make one double crochet into that corner two chain space of our second granny square okay so that's one double crochet and then again before we make our second double crochet we will slip stitch into that second double crochet right there okay so please watch closely again so that's the second double crochet we will slip stitch into that one okay and then we make our second double crochet into that corner two chain space okay so one more double crochet so again we will slip stitch on top of that third double crochet of the other granny square okay so slip stitch and then we make our third double crochet into that corner two chain space okay and now our corner for this uh, second granny square is complete and also connected to the other granny square so there okay let's continue up next we will slip stitch into this chain one space on the other granny square okay so insert hook grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook okay so slip stitch and again the three double crochets that we will be making into this chain one space right here we will also connect to the three double crochets on this other granny square so we slip stitch into that first double crochet on the other granny square right there that's the first double crochet of that set and now we make one double crochet into this chain one space right there okay and then we will once again slip stitch into that second double crochet on the other granny square to make a connection okay so slip stitch and then we make our second double crochet into that chain one space and again before we make our third double crochet into this chain one space we have to slip stitch into that third double crochet on the other granny square okay so 
slip stitch and then we make our third double crochet into that chain one space okay so there's our double crochet so as you can see it's a different kind of join so it's kind of like every stitch right so again this is the armhole and this is the part that goes on the shoulder right there so we have our three double crochets right there and we will slip stitch into that chain one space on the other granny square okay and now we will continue working on this um, okay so we're not going to join this part anymore to the other granny square okay so because we only need this connection right here that goes on the shoulder so remember this part right here is just open unattached okay so we will continue working on this last row on this uh, second granny square okay so we make our three double crochets into that chain one space okay so again these parts shouldn't be joined together because this part right here should be left open okay so let's continue working on this granny square so we have our three double crochets already and then we chain one and we make three double crochets into that next chain one space we chain one and three double crochets into that chain one space okay so basically again it's just your usual pattern for a granny square row so we will continue working on this last row of this second granny square until this part all the way here wait uh, let me show you okay so the marker is on the first granny square right so we will continue working on this last row on the second granny square first until we reach the number of stitches that will match the number of stitches on the other granny square before this marker okay so we just have to continue working on this last row of the second granny square until we reach the same number of stitches right there on the other granny square before that marker because after that marker we are gonna start joining the two granny squares again I will show it to you more clearly later so let's keep working on this last row until we reach this part and I'll meet you here okay so I'm back and I'm just going to show you this dress on a different angle real quick okay so just to show you what we have done so far so earlier we worked on this side okay and we joined together these sides of the granny squares up until we reach this part right here where we have the armhole okay so this is a different angle this is the front top part of our dress that goes on the shoulder right that's the part that we joined together earlier and we were working like this and this one is the neckline right here okay so this is the front of the dress and this is the open part that's why we have this marker right here that's the length that we need for the open part of our dress okay and earlier i've been working on the last row on this second granny square i'm just making sure that the number of stitches on this open part right here which are not joined together are the same on both of the granny squares so again we are here 
on this uh, second granny square okay let's move it around again so this part is the last row of the second granny square that we were working on earlier and we are now ready to join the two granny squares again starting on that part where we have the marker okay and then this side right here i mean uh, remember this is going to be the open part okay so these two sides shouldn't be joined together okay but uh before we uh, begin joining them again i just need to try and double check that i have the correct number of stitches right here i mean they have the same number of stitches right there okay so we have to match them okay like that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and right there sixteen okay so they match and i only counted the groups of three double crochets so it's faster and then we will continue so starting at this point where we have the marker we will once again be joining these two granny squares together all the way to that corner and now we go back to this spot right here where we have the marker again that's on the other granny square right and this right here is the last row that we were working on earlier where we matched the number of stitches on the other granny square and now we will slip stitch into that chain one space on the other granny square where we have the marker okay and now we can take this marker off because they're already connected and before we move on to joining these sides together first we will be doing one row of single crochets around this opening on the top part of the dress like what we did on the armhole okay again it will be just one single crochet into each stitch around for our border but if you don't want to do that one row of single crochets for the border you may skip this part okay i'm just going to move this a little to this side because this is where i will start doing that one row of single crochets okay so we already did a slip stitch into that chain one space so next we will make one single crochet into each of these three double crochets right there so one two and three okay so again it's just one single crochet into each stitch around so one single crochet into that chain one space and then one single crochet into each of these three double crochets again Okay, and then one single crochet into that chain one space and one single crochet into each of these three double crochets so uh, again we will just be repeating that pattern which is one single crochet into each stitch around all the way until we reach this part right here and i will meet you here okay so we are almost done with that one row of single crochet border around this part of the dress okay this opening here and now i'm back here to the spot where we joined the 
two granny squares together and where we started our single crochet border. And I'm now just going to finish these last few stitches remaining for this row of single crochets. So one single crochet into each of these three double crochets. There. And we are now done with that last bit right there. And now to finish off this border, we are just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did. Okay, that one on top of that double crochet. So slip stitch and now we are done with this single crochet row. Okay, and now I'm just going to move this working yarn to this side because we are now going to be working on this side of the granny square. Remember, this is the last row that we're working on, so we will just continue that on this side this time, okay? While joining it to the other granny square. It's once again the join as you crochet method. And we will be joining these two granny squares from this part here all the way to these corners here. Okay? So let's continue. Okay, so after we did that slip stitch into that first single crochet, we are now going to do another slip stitch, this time into that chain one space on the other granny square. Okay, so slip stitch into that. And then we will continue with our join as you crochet pattern. Okay, so we will now make three double crochets into this chain one space. Okay, so just your basic granny square pattern. There, three double crochets. And to join, we will slip stitch into that chain one space on the other granny square. Okay, and now we will continue. So once again, three double crochets into that chain one space. So two and three and again to join slip stitch into that chain one space on the other granny square. Okay, so slip stitch. Then one more time, three double crochets into that chain one space. Okay, two and three. So I know by now you have mastered this pattern, okay, this process, this uh, join as you crochet method. So we will continue doing that until we reach these corners right here. And I will meet you there. And we're almost at the corner of our granny square. So uh, we have finished this length here, joining the two granny squares together. Again, this is the open top part of the dress and we joined the two squares from here to this corner, okay, that we are still going to finish, okay? So we will work on that now. So we just did a slip stitch into that chain one space on the other granny square. And now we are going to do the corners, so we will work three double crochets into that corner two chain space. So three, and that is the first set of three double crochets for our corner. And then we will connect it to the corner of the other granny square so we slip stitch into that two chain space 
and then we chain one and then we will make our second set of three double crochets in our corner okay so three double crochets into that corner two chain space okay so that's the corner of our second granny square done and it's also connected to the other granny square okay and now we will continue on this side of the square no joining on this side anymore okay so we will just continue working on the last row okay so chain one and then three double crochets into that chain one space okay and then we chain one and again three double crochets into that chain one space okay so basically we are now just doing our usual pattern for a row for the basic or regular granny square okay so no join anymore on this part okay so we will continue working on that okay until okay so we're just finishing this last row on this second granny square all the way around here making another corner right there and up to this part right here remember this is the beginning of our row okay so we will just continue and I'll see you when we get to this part And we are now at the end of the last row on this uh, second granny square. Okay, so I already chained one and now we're going to slip stitch into that third chain on that three chains that we did in the beginning of this row. That's the end of this last row. And now I'm just going to make one row of single crochets around the bottom part of our dress okay as a border so we uh, uh, chain one okay sorry okay so chain one then single crochet into each of those stitches single crochet if you want to make a different border a uh, more elaborate one that's okay you can do that i just don't think i have enough yarn for a different type of border okay so i'm just gonna be doing a single crochet border around the edge of the bottom part of our dress again that's just one single crochet into each stitch around so that would be all around the edge of the bottom part of this dress until we reach this part right here where we started the border so we'll continue working on that and i'll see you when we get to this point so we're done with the single crochet border or edging all around and we are back here where we started the border so we're just going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we did Okay, so let's pull up the yarn and then we have to make sure that we leave a tail long enough for weaving in later. And now we are going to move on to the strap. And now I'm just going to turn this dress around and find the spot where we will be attaching the strap. Okay, I'm looking at the dress right now and it's actually almost done we have a one shoulder venus cut dress here just without the strap but again if you don't want to put on a strap that's fine as well you can leave it like this so earlier i have mentioned that this is the front of the dress which is the same with the previous dress that i made but this time i'm going to do the opposite okay so this is going to be the back of the dress because i like the look of this other granny square better 
So this will be the front of the dress. This shoulder, this part right here, goes on the left shoulder instead of the right. Okay, but you can decide whether you want this to go on the right shoulder or the left. And this is where the strap will go. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next. So let's continue working. Okay, so I tried the dress on to determine where the strap is going to go. So again, this is the top part of the dress, right? The opening. And this is where I'm going to attach the strap. So it's also up to you to know where you want your strap to go. Okay, so you can try on the dress and see where you want to place your strap. So to begin, we will make a slip knot and we have to leave a tail long enough for weaving in later okay so this is our slip knot on the hook and next we will make a slip stitch into that space where we have the marker okay so after the slip stitch we will chain two and this will be a part of a three double crochet cluster that counts as an incomplete double crochet and we make a second one so we yarn over insert hook grab yarn and pull up a loop grab yarn and pull through two loops on the hook so again we're not going to finish that second double crochet so it's an incomplete one and then we make a third one so slowly this time so we yarn over insert hook into that space Okay, we grab yarn and then we pull up a loop, grab yarn and pull through two loops on the hook. And that's the third one. And to finish off the cluster, we grab yarn and pull through all loops on the hook. And that's the first cluster for this strap. Okay, and now we will chain two and we will make another three double crochet cluster into that space. Okay, we can now take this off okay and we make another cluster into that same space okay so we yarn over insert hook into that uh, space grab yarn pull up a loop grab yarn and pull through two loops on the hook and that's the first incomplete double crochet for the cluster and then we yarn over insert hook grab yarn and pull up a loop grab yarn and pull through two loops on the hook so that's number two one more time okay this is the third one yarn over insert hook grab yarn pull up a loop grab yarn and pull through two loops on the hook and to finish the cluster we grab yarn and pull through all loops on the hook Okay, and then we chain one. And that is the first row for this strap. And we will be making more of that. So uh, we turn our work. Insert hook into that two chain space. And we slip stitch. Okay, and now we can begin the next row. So it's going to be the same pattern with the first one, okay? So we chain two, that counts as an incomplete double crochet as part of the cluster. And then we make the second one. So yarn over, insert hook, grab yarn, pull up a loop, grab yarn and pull through two loops. So that's number two. So again, yarn over, insert hook, grab yarn, pull up a loop, grab yarn and pull through two loops on the hook. And to complete the cluster, grab yarn and pull through all loops on the hook. So that's the first cluster. And that's what we are going to do in the beginning of every row. So we chain two in the beginning after we slip stitch to begin a cluster. So we chain two and then make another three double crochet cluster into that two chain space. Okay, so this is the first incomplete double crochet. Second one, 
and the third one. So again, grab yarn and pull through all loops on the hook. We chain one, and that's the end of this row. Okay, and then to begin, we turn our work, and then we slip stitch into that two chain space, and we are now ready to do the next row. Okay, so we chain two as part of our three double crochet cluster. So that counts as the first incomplete double crochet. Okay, and then we make the second one. Okay, so this is the second incomplete double crochet. And now the third one. Okay, and to finish the cluster, grab yarn and pull through all loops on the hook. So that's the first cluster for this row and then we chain two and I will show you how to make the three double crochet cluster one more time. So we yarn over, insert hook into that two chain space, grab yarn and pull up a loop, grab yarn and pull through two loops on the hook. So that's number one. We yarn over, insert hook, grab yarn, pull up a loop, grab yarn and pull through two loops on the hook. So that's the second one and then we yarn over, insert hook into that two chain space, okay, grab yarn, pull up a loop and grab yarn and pull through two loops on the hook and then grab yarn and pull through all loops on the hook to complete the cluster, okay, and then we chain one. Okay, so this is the pattern that we will repeat several more times until we reach the length that we need for the strap. As for me, I need the strap to be approximately 34 centimeters long. So let's continue working on that strap until we reach the length that we need and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so I'm done with the strap and this is approximately 34 centimeters long okay and i'm now going to connect this to the back part of the dress okay so i'm just making sure that the number of stitches here match okay so that's the front and the back okay and now that's where i'm going to attach the strap okay right there so this is the front of the dress right and I'm trying to make sure that the strap is not twisted okay and now we have to connect this to the back part of the dress okay and this is how I'm going to do this so that space right there I just need to put the strap in this position okay and then we will crochet around this two chain space on the strap and that space on that granny square okay so uh, please watch closely anyway there are other ways that you can attach the strap but uh, this is my version so I just want to share it with you Okay, so we just need to insert our hook into that two chain space on the strap and through that space on the granny square. Okay, and then we make a single crochet. So again, I'm just crocheting around the strap and the granny square together. Okay, so it's just single crochet. Okay, so that's two. And let's do another single crochet around those stitches from both the strap and the granny square. Okay, so that's how it will look like outside. Okay, and let's do one more. Okay, for a sturdier connection. Okay, so again, that's how the strap or the connection will look like 
outside of the dress okay and this is on the inside part okay I think four single crochets are enough for this kind of connection I think this is sturdy enough so we uh, chain one pull up the yarn and leave a tail long enough for weaving in and that is our strap done and also the dress for the finished size of the granny squares the length of each side is approximately 80 centimeters so i think that's it after weaving in all the tails our new candle beach cover up or summer dress should be done and ready for us to wear and show off so that's our candle beach cover up or summer dress so again it's a simple granny square dress so we connected two granny squares together to form a dress okay so if you have any questions clarifications or recommendations feel free to leave a comment down below well that's it for now thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell button so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video see you soon bye like if you like this video subscribe if you love it share if you care thank you for watching bye